Welcome to my new YouTube channel, Dating and Marriage with Grace Kansimi. I am a mother. I have been married for 30 years and uh, I have raised adult children, uh, millennial children to the glory of God. And uh, one of them, the firstborn, is already married and uh, I am looking forward to the blessings of God in that relationship. I decided to do uh, a channel on dating and, and marriage because uh, when you look around us, the world has become so small, yet so interconnected globally, that sometimes it is so difficult to find uh, who to share with and, uh, and your things remain anonymous. So people sit with their relationship issues, they sit with their relationships joy, they sit with their parenting challenges, they sit with so much and they have no one to share with. And I would like to invite you today, join me on this YouTube channel. We will be posting a video every week and we'll be talking about various issues that will make our relationship stronger and better. And that is what we are looking forward to, making the relationships, the marriage, the dating work to the glory of God. And as we fulfill God's original plan for dating and for marriage, I dated for a very short time. Uh, I met my husband in March. It was my birthday. Two weeks later, he told me he wanted to marry me. That's how he proposed. Uh, two months later, he paid my bride price. And uh, two months later, we were wedded. And so we met in March. He paid my bride price in June. And in August, I said, I do. He said, he do, he does. And 30 years, we are still strong. We'll be talking about how much time should someone give to dating? How much time uh, will someone uh, study someone and then say, I now understand my fiance or my fiancé? Do you really study them enough and you feel that there is so much time that you can study and get to know them? Mm -mm. We'll discuss that and we'll see. How much time should one take from dating to marriage? or from dating to proposal. What are those things that men are looking for in a girl that they will say she is the one? Why is it sometimes that a guy can date a girl for uh, three, four, five, six years, even 10, and the day they break off like this, in about um, three, four, five, six months, even less than a year, this guy is married to a new girl. What is it that the other girl has that is so special that you who has been dating for five years, uh, you do not have? Um, then we'll go to the marriage. What are the successful tips, hmm? success tips for a successful marriage? We'll look at that and we will share. You will also be there to contribute to some of you who have been blessed with very good marriages. We'll ask uh, you, some of you, if you can, share your testimony and then we'll be able to build other people. And then we'll look at the, the influence of money and wealth in a relationship. What happens if the woman is so rich? What happens if the man is so rich? What happens if they are both wealthy? What happens if they are both poor and they do not have money and they've met together uh, and maybe they work and God blesses them and there is money? Is there a basis for them to separate because there is money? The influence of money will explore it uh, at length. And we'll also look at the, the influence of power and positions. What happens when a woman is powerful? She's the CEO of a company. She's a director. She's a minister. She's a member of parliament. Does that have an impact on the marriage? What about a man? If he's a big man, he's a minister, or maybe he is uh, an, uh, a, a peasant, uh, you know, LC1 chairman, just like, you know, any simple man, and the woman is powerful. Or maybe the man is powerful and the woman has no so much power. Does that affect the marriages? What are your life stories that you'd like to share with us so that we can learn from? And then we'll look at... Uh, the influence, the impact that uh, 
parents, in-laws, uh, relative in-laws, the brothers in-laws, the sisters in-laws, the, the mother in-law, the father in-law, what impact, what influence do they have on a young marriage? How can we guard uh, the marriages from the outside influence of people who are actually not part of a marriage? And then we'll ask ourselves, does a woman get married to a clan or gets married to an individual? If she chose to get married to an individual, is she likely to suffer because she has locked out the clan? Or if she woke up and locked out the clan completely, um, will it be better in the long run? We will share tips on successful relationships with your in-laws and how they can be part of the team that will build the relationships. Or at what point do you say enough is enough? Your influence stops here and uh, you cannot go beyond this point. We will also look at parenting tips. How do we get to parent our children, the millennials, the children born within the 1999 up to uh, this period? They have unique challenges. These are children that are born in the a WhatsApp era, they are born in the mobile phone era, they are born in the era where women are, are so much empowered that the women who used to stay out uh, at home uh, doing teaching and all that, they are now managing big offices. And so these children have grown up in boarding schools, they have grown up in the hands of maid, they have grown up in the hands of Gmail, they have grown up in the hands of Facebook, they have grown up in the hands of YouTube. How do we get the best out of the children that we call the millennial children? Is there hope for them? Can they be well brought up that at the end they will be excellent mothers, excellent fathers in the future? Can they be free from drugs and substance abuse? Can they be children who can work? What are the hopes? Is there a mentoring place that these children can go and they be mentored to be better citizens? I will say yes, there is a hope for these children. They can be mentored they can be taken care of and they can be great citizens and they will be honorable to their parents because they will bring so much joy uh, unto this, uh, uh, to their parents. Uh, this is the introduction of this new YouTube channel. For those who have met me before, you have met me on uh, Life Stories with Kansime Grace. This is a different one. So I will ask you kindly, please subscribe, like and comment the more you comment, the more you grow, the more the channel will grow and the more uh, the content that we'll be uploading. Welcome. Walk this journey with me, Grace Kansime, dating and marriage. Let's make the best out of everything. Let's date successfully. Let's get married and have joy and have fun and have good fellowship within the home. And at the end of it all, we are looking to God uh, blessing us in the marriage. To the men, before I close, do men suffer in the relationship? Do men have challenges in this relationship? Why is it that women are the ones taking the victim position uh, sometimes when the men are actually suffering? And now there is this new trend everywhere you go, in the newspapers, in the those... Uh, vehicles that are packed by the roadside selling uh, medication, uh, local hubs, they are always calling men to go for manpower. What has caused the men to lose their manpower? What? Why are men losing manpower all of a sudden? Is it a result of the men, the women not doing the right things? What is it that uh, is causing the women, the men, to run out of their homes and go and stay single and abandon their marital homes. Let's uh, explore all these uh, challenges and, 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 the, and the tips and, and the facts and, and everything that we need to explore so that we can build good homes to the glory and honor of God. Thank you so much. God bless you.